Okay, well, everyone remembers uh, Lewis Carroll and Alice in Wonderland. That. Okay, all right. Okay, there was a wonderful poem there about, you are old Father William. Anyone remember that? Okay. What do you say? You are old Father William, the young man said. Well, well, people have read Alice in Wonderland, haven't you? Well, anyway, I think even if you don't recall the original, you will, I think, relate to my version. This is with apologies to Lewis Carroll's Alice. <laughs> you are old, Father William, the young man said, and he should be retired on a pension. Yet you get up each morning and leave your soft bed. Pray, why do you flout this convention? <clears throat> In my youth, Father William replied to his son, I believed forty-some years of sweating would be more than enough for life's work to be done. But look at the raw deal I'm getting. Though year in and year out I came to work early, and you never could call me a slacker, the pension fund shriveled until it could barely buy me lemonade and a cracker. So that's why I have to go back into bondage each morning and punch a darn clock Thought my golden years would be a sweet and fond age, but that turned out to be a crock. Yeah. You are old, said the youth, and it quite disabuses us of our belief in rewards. To see you eschewing golf courses and cruisings for trifles your income affords. <laughs> in my youth, said the old man, I saw those mature, if they had the least bit of thrift, could wind up a yacht owner and wine connoisseur. But me, no, and boy, am I miffed. I thought I, I, too, would be a man of leisure before Wall Street had its conniptions. But now I'm a sad, penny-pinching old geezer whose dome all must go for prescriptions. <laughs> you were old, said the youth. I thought you'd relocate to Tampa, St. Pete, or Clearwater. In the Florida sun, old folks luxuriate. At your age, don't you think you ought to? In my youth, said the old man, I studied brochures and dreamed of condos in the tropics. But now all those dreams have been stuck full of skewers, and it is the bitterest of topics. To live in the sunshine, to fish, swim, and dive will rejuvenate any old man. But when you're still office-bound each nine to five, it's right hard to work on your tan. <laughs> So if you would sing of the lifeless Floridian, I beg of you, please shut your mouth. I can't change my latitude, nor my meridian. My investments, not I, have gone south. <laughs> you are old, the young man said, now changing his tune, and full of the wisdom of ages. Philosophically speaking, is it not a boon that you are still worth a day's wages? For labor, labor is noble, and work is constructive, and gives you great pride in yourself. So aren't you glad you can still be productive and not tossed aside on the shelf? And also, the youth said, but then Father Will gave him a smack upside the head. Yeah, work is good, he said, but I've had my fill. So can I stop before I'm dead? The economy may say that I have to work, but I'm tired and I creak and I ache. So spare me the preaching, you callow young jerk. I'm 70, give me a break. <laughs> Now, if you're someone with a job that you love, we won't put you to the same test. Feel free to work on till you're called up above. But give Father William a rest. <laughs> <laughs>